kind of accidentally started already. I kind of accidentally started already to kickstart the video even more. But basically, what you missed was you know your guy woken up. You woke up. You was told to meet here, and then hey, fellas, I wanted hey, to get some yak. Hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. Oh, I hate this goo. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having, and I read up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and oh, I no. want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salud. A salute. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... Hell, I could I'm wondering if you are ready to work. take the next step. Yeah, sure. Uh, what next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just because someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. Exactly. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. But you're, uh, you're talking about the crowds, right? You know, the... Bad Man, guys. I don't want to do y'all dirty work. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. Guess we're gonna do it anyway. We need guys like you, guys who can sure follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one, and there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand a piece. That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me. The yeah, first of right all, you, you you're I'll never you you're never you never paid to be a part of a family. Henry's gonna fill you. You join a list. you join I'll a family once you're you proven to be hey, loyal, boss, so take care of that trustworthy, and yeah, know how to handle all himself and you know how to handle life. The last time. Yeah, no, Don't that's just not right. Again. Boss, What's up, Ames? Come with me. Appreciate we some other business here, to discuss. Hate this guy. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck yeah, from across it? the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. <laughs> Shit, he is probably he? is. Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much How is much slightly? Is slightly. Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment uh, across the street from his don't. business. We'll sit there and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then boom! All right, then. Blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an just MG like forty-two. Uh. Where are we getting an MG42 from? Harry. Yeah. Henry. He's Harry a vet, me. like you. Hell? He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay. That's Joe, probably, the, to the apartment. That's you probably the not the best thing to do. It's selling Kingston. guns to so people for. on the street. Just tell him I sent you. That's After that, meet right. us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Now nah, you good, man. You good. Apartment I appreciate you um, joining. Okay, apartment now I hope everything Got is it. good, gang. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to your next stream, gang. As long as you're not doing it when I'm at work again. All right, we off first. What you like? One whiskey and a Want some yak? What you think? Come on now. That should be obvious you what I want. Yeah, I know it's always welcome. I'm spending it. All right. Anyways, we're off. Oh, I got time. For I don't like. It. Anyways, we're off. Right now, what we're gonna do is pick up this MP40. I mean, MG40, 40, double 40, cup 40, 
whoever the hell can afford it is. I don't know what the hell this thing is called, yo. Quite frankly, I just don't even give a damn. Either. Um, first of all, oh, that's what say. This is a, I'm driving another 42 Jefferson, which ain't mine, by the way. So, therefore, I don't care. Anyway, after we go pick up this bomb gun, we're going to go to Sand Island and kill this fat guy. As they describe it. As they describe it. There we go. We off. Oh gosh. I was flooding this. Oh! Oh gosh. Who taught you to drive? Uh, um. Oh gosh. Dad. Dad. I had to sit there for a while just because. Man. Oh gosh. I hope everybody's okay. Um, that was terrible. Anyways, I am going to give you guys a um, go ahead of the, my up next upcoming schedule. I decided I will be starting Vice City or, or GTA 3 on Wednesday. Started one of the two, so I will decide. I will let you guys know via Twitter and Facebook. So keep up, keep track with me, and I will definitely let you guys know which one I will be doing for sure. But I, we're definitely finna start one of those. Who's there? Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Come on in. Bet. Love to hear it, man. Love to hear it. All right, let's go ahead and meet this guy. He's gonna talk our ears off. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah, you got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG42, um, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw. MG42. She's a beauty. Hitler. 25 pounds, 7.92 caliber, 1,200 rounds per minute, fastest in the world. They mentioned hit round belt, three quarters of a mile effective range, fact. and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. I don't know either. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service too. No shit. Wait, wait are you kidding me? Where, where were you? What was it, Normandy? Huh? No, no Africa? No, I was. Uh, uh, let me guess. No, not uh, Africa. Liberation. What the hell? Yeah. What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? And that was kind of yes. hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy. I mean, here, we're we're here. Anyway, it's, can I get started, yeah, man? I got no somebody to kill. I was crawling over the fence on the way back. I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a dish. Bro, how long have uh, they been here? Look, guy, I really got to get going. All right. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. Yeah, if you ever need yeah. some hardware, you know where to find me. Yeah. I think I there do you know go. where to find you, actually. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's more, a couple son. thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. Like my mom always said, you can never Boy, have too that, much um, ammo. Revolver. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much have ammo. Have too much ammo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Shut the fuck up. All right, guys. Give me a second real quick. Turning into my number.
All right, guys, I'm back. I had to take a little short intermission break. Family emergency, but everything good now. Let's get back to this game, shall we? All right. But I will definitely be starting the the GTA trilogy. I am very excited to play it. Um, to be truth be told, I'm actually already playing it. I'm already done with Vice City and three. But however, I will restart it again so I can play it for you guys. Like I said, I will decide. I am deciding which one I'm gonna play first. Decide which one I'm gonna play first between GTA 3 and Vice City, but I'll probably do nine out of ten. I'll probably do Vice City first because that is my favorite of the game. No, I'm not trying to be biased, but Vice City always been my favorite GTA game of all time, besides GTA 4. Um, I just GTA 4, all of it. I I feel like it's um. Story is all around great, like great story and a damn great protagonist, Nico Belli. I just love the idea of um, GTA 4. I know somebody has said it, but um, you know GTA 4 was a different approach. You know, Nico wasn't a criminal. You know, he came to America looking for a new life and did what passed his trauma to where he was sucked into the criminal underground. And like, no matter, even like, even his backstory is tragic. And like, that's the whole tone of the game. And like, either way it goes, the game is gonna end in tragedy. Like, I I hate tragedy, but I like, I like it. I like what they did. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Shit. Copy oh that. God, not that. We try to shake him. I forgot that I was speeding. I had a speed limit on. I was speeding. But yeah, I like that. Um. Also, I might replay. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, I'm debating if I will play Mafia Three. Mafia Three is a big question mark, but most likely I will not play it. Let me explain to you guys why. Mafia 3 is too long. Well, not long. It's not the length of the game, actually, that bothers me. It's really the repetitive nature of it. It's still fun to play, but you guys, if you guys see me playing it, you guys will assume, like, oh, he's doing the same missions over and over. That type stuff. So, you know, I'm basically saving y'all. I'm basically saving y'all from um looking for have to um look at this the repetitive nature of it. So yeah. Where you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Did we buy your ticket? Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a. Uh, a man of honor. That thing's got pretty All bad. Right, let's you guys listen Mussolini to this lesson on its arm. Um... My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up. So he sent me to America and got me a job working for Pimenti. Go ahead and let you guys listen in on the dialogue as I. As I just listen in. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and they died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So that sucks. So They're coming. Those black cars. All right. That was quick. Vito, aim for the fat bastard. Aim we for the fat bastard. Before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on. They got All right, guns. showtime. They got guns up there in that window. Oh yeah, he's fat. That's, That's a fat guy. Wait, if you guys are wearing headphones, we I suggest you check it out. Shoot that fucking thing! I'm going deaf over here. Sorry. Pick up ammo. Yeah. 
Oh, a bullet to the head. Okay, interesting. Going in. Side. Of course you wouldn't, Joe. Kiss your ass, I'm that dude. Shit, it hurts. Okay. Up on my back. Okay. Shit, asshole. Shoot. Okay. Come on, you. Shoot my love. Move it, Vito. Use my dis. Can't let that fat bastard get Use away. Use my dis town and big enough for the two of us <clears throat> gone. Okay, you first, Vito. You're the f no, no, coming we'll cover for you. you, Porky. Going in. Hurry up. Oh gosh. All right, Vito. Here we go. We want to get on your bed. Fun fact: This is actually on, the demo go. mission. Catch up. Oh fuck. The only difference is. Oh, shit. What the fuck? This is actually that? a demo mission. The mission you play in a demo, but the only difference is. Is the um God damn weather, it, now this whole you know. place is gonna burn to the ground. What a waste of food. Damn, what the hell? Uh, I'm the best. Uh, okay. Good stuff. Cover me. Got me covered, Joe? Oh, good headshot. Okay. Oh, there we go. Ooh, oh, no, no. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. What the hell you for? Up on my back. Yeah, um, no, this is just not working out. The headshot. Okay. As you see, I just switched between weapons. I'm gonna wait. Damn! Sorry, you'll be all right. Oh gosh, good shot. Going in. Joe rocking the Tommy gun. Oh, oh, Damn. First of all, I have no idea who you call me. I have no idea who you call it a kid. That fucking thing. I'm going deaf over here. Oh, Lord. We're not off to a good start right now. I need to turn this thing around. I need to turn the video around. Real quick. Good shot. Get back on track. Move it, Vito. We can't let that fat bastard get away. Okay. The shotgun is shot. Oh, God. You're gosh. a fucking war hero. Go, go. We're we'll coming for you, you porky. Going in. Poor guys. I feel bad for these guys that actually work here and got MV involved in it. Do I not really? I won't want to get on your bad side. Oh, fuck. Of course you will. <laughs> what the fuck is that? They burned the whole place down. God damn it, now this whole fucking place is gonna burn to the ground. What a waste of bulls. Okay. Oh no! Who was that saying no? No, seriously. Okay, because I know my accuracy. Because I was going to say, I know my accuracy not bad right now. 
not too bad, but what the F word is really doing on? Go ahead, shot. Okay, hit the button, Vito. How about to. Hit the button, Vito. What the hell are you doing, Joe? Thirsty. What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. You should try it. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? Last year. Here they come! Oh shit. They got Tommy. They, they got Tommy. They got Tommy. They got Tommy gun. Yeah. That is. Oh shit. Damn. I, I assume that you guys killed them, right? What are you scared at? Oh. Um, sure. Let me my first taste of a time. Come on, Porky's upstairs. <laughs> okay, um, can I? Got you. <laughs> All right. Don't kill me. Please, I got a wife. You should have thought about your wife I, I before. Do you want. Me. Oh, re he just repeatedly <laughs> said that he got a wife. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Oh, sorry, you. <laughs> Henry, you okay? Right. Where'd he hit? Of course I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg. Oh yeah, it's bleeding all Son over the place. Son of a. Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the El Greco. fucking doctor. Okay, okay. You idiot. Easy. We're gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the car. Oh, come on, Maron. Uh, you're heavier than you look. Let's fuck. Right. fuck. He almost shot my balls off. Take it easy. He missed him by a mile. But still, he almost shot him off, though. Come on, Vito. He's bleeding all over the place. Elevator's down, so now we got a wall. Hey, careful. Yada, yada, yada. No, What's up, guy? I don't want to walk if you don't quit your moment. Probably should have went home, man. Oh. Fuck. Leave the... Ah. This whole fucking place is coming apart. Yeah. Charlie Bubani. Oh, wow. He's already right by me. Thought oh, somebody was in here. That's actually our last enemy. That was actually our. That was actually our last enemy. What the That's actually our last set of enemies, so therefore we can actually just go ahead and do this part. Alright. Oh god. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. If I don't make it. Hey, don't go saying that, pal. It's just a scratch. The doc will give you a few stitches, then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh. You shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. We've seen that in a movie once. All right. 
and went up to the guy in the movie. Die! Back at it again. Oh, no, no. Keep that shit up and Henry's a dead man. Jesus, you drive like my fucking grandmother. Gee. You see the um, countdown on the grill right now. The suspenseful music. Okay. Let's hurry up. Now, now in the in the um demo, you know, at this point on, you'll be cut off to run by a cop. I actually like to can, see them man. actually do that. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, it would ain't. you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Just get me. Hold on. Which way are they telling me? Oh hell no. Okay. So, oh, fellas, who is okay. this guy? What guy? This guy we're taking him. El Greco? He's a doctor. Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. Must be your diet. I know, right? But yeah, so basically, back then the mafia used to always had like an inside person that deal with people in their line of work. Hey, Henry, you know, basically they just explain yeah. it. Just hang in there, pal. Go to a doctor. Yeah, they don't in a minute. Questions. I can so, smell the souvlaki from here. Nigga, what? Shit. Hey, Vito, step on it. Henry sweat like keep a whore in church back here. That would make me drive faster. You start as it. Huh? I don't understand the shit that he be saying sometimes. But we may all oh, shh. This is a driving slow. No, 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 no. Okay. I made it too, so. The worst thing is to get a warning level at this rate. Vito, My thing is, on, how did the, the cops even know? About this car right here. You are Greco the doctor? No, I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help, or he's gonna bleed. Out. Thanks, Doc. Good God, Henry. Yo, you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait, I got money for you for the job. Take it. You know this could have waited, but thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. Hope you'll be okay. Yeah, me too. I'll stay here with him. Meet me in my place. Please. All right. All right. That's that. Um, we're going to leave that car away uh, out of it because that's wanted. So we're just going to steal a car. What the hell? Get out the car. Okay. F it. Get the fuck out. Get out the car. Gee, what the hey, heck? You, get out. Get, get, get out the car. Try and think funny. Run. I will shoot you. Exactly, run. Try and think I will shoot you. But now what we finna do is go finna go drop this bread out to um, our sister so they could pay off the, our father's debt. Control it, control it. It's a long process. All right. That was real. That was one of the most tense shootouts. But it's gonna be even more tense ones. So. Episode of a hit and run driver. How the hell you Copy see that all the way from back there? Did this car get fast? Go fast enough? G. 
save this. Okay. All right. Yo, sus, where you at, gang? I got some bread that you need to offload. Vito, hey, how you doing? Shh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh. Vito, that's great. What's up, my boy? I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little Nah, drop, bro. I don't think you're surviving them kind of shots. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? Don't worry. Everything's Maybe. fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something nah, up. Nah, dead ass. Right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. All right, um, so much money. Oh, shit, we're going the way. I saw him just bust this shit. I could run the rest of the way. Forget it. We don't got to get that cardio in anyways. The cardio in. Yeah, 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 I know. Going to sleep starts the next chapter. Yeah, 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 I know. You start the next chapter by sleeping. I know. That's exactly what we're going to go do. Take a nap and get to the next chapter. All right. Funny fact. So basically, it's the DLC for this mission of for this game called Joe's Adventure. It actually ties in to the next D, to the next mission. So basically, it takes place during the next one. Chapter six. Time well spent. Oh no! I think you guys know. I think we know how this one finna go. I think I think we, you guys yeah. know where this What's is going. Doing? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're yep, coming one of the us. gas station people snitched on you. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling them where I was staying. But they had no That's idea us. who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a I'm lot pretty worse, sure they only got you any of my other activities. I'm pretty sure they only serious. got you the lawyer so, they, so you won't the snitch on the on the on their family. Resources. Let's be honest. That lawyer like he don't give a damn. The most. And that's the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta. The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. It was a lost cause from day one. Three months later. They handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta. Yeah, three months. For your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to ten years in a federal penitentiary. Ten years? I know you fucking lying. Yeah. Oh, you lying about that, man. The federal pen. Thieves, murderers, Ten child years. molesters, they're all here. The worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else. You look like a monkey. 
Ten years. What the hell? Ten years, of my ass. Oh my god, this is terrible. Sorry. Drink some good grape juice. Look at all this, man. I can't deal with that. Please stay out of jail, guys. Every day you think about doing something, just think about your action. Let's go, assholes! You want to make problems, you son of a bitch? Uh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? No speaking to English? Here, let me teach you. What, do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now, yeah, get look your at look how they used to treat you. <laughs> you guys, no. you guys need to tell me you want to deal with that? Hey, smartass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. Move it. They, they just doing that. To, they just doing that to abuse their power now. All right. Stop right there. Turn to your right. They're just doing that to abuse their power. Yeah. Uh, other other right. right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain oh. Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. <laughs> You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. On the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it. Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long. You were sent oh. here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you. We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Knock them cutting my the salon, hair off. Ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. They're not even hey, cutting nothing off. What the hell? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Ha <laughs> ha! It's because he's bald. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you fucking told. Look here, folks. You're not gonna be talking to me like all oh, crazy. I'll whack your ass. The F word you looking at, bro? All these guards look just the same, bro. If you ain't gonna do what you told, we're gonna stick you in the hole. Follow me. Shut up. That's a scary sight. Smell you, new fish. Welcome home. Come from Get home. in. Well, this is my new home for the next ten years. Wow. Ten years from now, this is crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and just end this day. Ten years in federal prison for stealing some stamps. Was it worth it? No, it was, was not. This was be my new home for the next ten years. Look like shit and smell like piss. That's a big ass rat. dodging bullets in Europe to this. No, you ain't got the option this time, gang. Three days later, this happened. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. Leo Galante, this wasn't the kind of place oh, where you yeah. survive on your own. From this day going, from this game, from this moment going forward, he's definitely gonna be a a big part of this game. I'm looking Yo, for Leo Galante. Get out of my face! What an asshole! Hey, I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point him out, will you? Leave me the fuck alone. 
The fuck be to y'all people, bro? I asked one simple question. You want to be some dickhead? Excuse me. You know where Leo Galante is? A hey, buddy. Beat it. Five years and almost yep, two that's the bullet to your skull. They should let me out next summer. Uh, they don't seem too friendly. It's because they black. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Get the fuck away from me. Fuck you. The war. Uh, hey, uh, I'm looking for uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? Your fortune for today is get the fuck away from me. Go fuck yourself. That's why I found him on my own. I don't need y'all. I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in the jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> exactly. It's y'all fault. Y'all got caught. You know, fellas. We ain't get caught. My mom was right. There is a god. <laughs> and he sent you here. You guinea bastard. Soon I could pay you back. This looks interesting. Want to make a small bet? I'm gonna break you, Diggle. Damn, okay. Obviously, this is part of the, this is part of the mission he messed you up. This is gonna be easier than the time. This is part of the mission, so don't worry about me. It's actually part of it. Did you hear me? Break it out of here! See, they don't do all that to him, but they just they, but they want to do that to me. Come on now. We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. Now look, y'all going. On. Now look, y'all going on a prison rampage because I definitely would. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. And let me tell you something: when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. Basically. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself Yo. a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah, uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide well, protection do for his guys for him. Here, But I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. Damn, just like that. Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight What's up, Dennis? against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. From what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. Dang. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. All right, let's do this real quick. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Rito, I want you to okay. hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. All right. Let's then. get going. All right. All right. What are you tired already, okay. kid? That a boy, Pepe. Damn! What the fuck? Oh, it's good. There we go. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey. We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big Both. Fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. It's definitely right, you got a gun. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? Most guys ain't gonna see Yo, it Yo, I got you. I got you. Pepe here. <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Nah, he ain't. I'm fine now. Nice, kid. Nice, nice. One. Give me two more. All right, one more. Shit, bit. that had to hurt. Shit, bro, did hurt. Come on. Throw the punch. Throw the punch. 
dun, 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 the punch. Okay, he's obviously not doing it. There you Finally. go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. So how close you see me did you though? get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and uh, Luca said he'd bring us into the family for uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always yeah. been a crooked bastard. Uh, this why it's plenty of guys. So what is that, like more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And you can handle... <laughs> the you life, know, exactly. The life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Come on, give me another 20. Yeah, okay. that's it. I usually, I, at this point, you could just leave, but I like to get to know the people at the gym. Hey, how you doing? Name's Vito. Yeah, I know. Name's Al. Good to meet you. Good to meet you, guys. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, Vito? Come on, Name's Sal. Hey, nice work in the ring. Hell yeah. Nice work I like in the to ring, meet everybody. Buddy. A little more of that, and you'll be ready yeah, for a real it. fight. Hell of a job right, with guy. that asshole, Neil. Nice. Next time, do us all a favor and snap the prick's neck, would you? Oh, foreshadow. Vito. Chris, how can I help you? Just chilling, man. Getting to know y'all. What's up, Leo? Okay, How's old man right. Galante know so much about boxing? You never know by looking at him now, but he was a prize fighter nah, back in the day. Hey, don't. Damn good one, too. Vito. No Sam, shit. how you yeah. doing? Heard he used to fight in bare knuckle matches. Chilling, gang. Right? Chilling. I'm out of here now. I gotta go do some things. Watch where you walk right Oh, you look Chinese punk. If your eyes all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you, too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. No, dead ass. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send him over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. The hell you mean chop suey crap? Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What okay. am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> what? Ha! You big, but you no top. I know you're not talking. You're no big, but no tough. I can't speak that language. So I'm just gonna stop. Do what the fuck is you saying? Your ass ugly as hell. Ugly What are you saying, dude? Shut the hell up. I can't believe this. His master will not be happy. Okay. Dark high, dark what the hell? It's like two of the same dudes. Three of the same dudes. What the hell? Okay. His ass ugly as hell, bro. That was easy. Nah, I ain't trying to hit that crap. One week later, this happened. Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Okay. Bitch, push me again. Yeah. 
fuck is to, fuck is to him? Oh gosh, I'm glitching over here. Hey, listen, Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scaletta. All right, come with me, Vito. I'm coming. My bad. I was doing. What are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. Yeah. What are we doing? I need some yak. My first day out. <clears throat> Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Morning. Leo. <clears throat> Morning training today. Not exactly. We got a challenge nah. from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. That's fine. Now nah, let's. The guy that's you're gonna be fighting is a rat. strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make Play me proud, kid. Ooh, looky here. I'ma take this skinny ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard oh, as God. mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs oh. getting ready to lose. Oh, come on, my grandmama hit me out of the net. You should be the last one calling somebody a meatball. All right. Playing down on a job like always. Your little No, grab him and finish him. Now's your chance, kid. Knock him in the next week. Let's go, Vito. Put these bums back in their place. That was easy. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. What's, what the Yo, fuck did he just give me? Coming? <laughs> Snitch. What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come yeah, on. Yeah, we parted him. You got a visitor. Who can it be, gang? Hope it's my wife. Who has it be? Who would it be? Sus! Hi, Vito. I don't know. Hey, Frankie. How you know what you're doing? Man? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting Yo. married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're Look in jail. You, Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just, just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? Oh, no. What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks, and she's not getting any better. Look, oh, Frankie. No. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get oh, her the gosh. best doctor you like can find. I don't like that. And, uh, you keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito. No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not going to need it for a while. Not for a good while. All right, looks like I got to go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. Take care, sis. Won't we later? This happens. Let's go, Scaletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. Hey, dude, calm down. Shoot, what the hell? Uh. I know where to go. I know where to go. Oh God! What the heck? Gee, what the heck is going on? Okay. So, you're the new cleaning lady, huh? Follow me. Hey pal, you mind? No. No, I'm the guy. No. Jesus, your singing is the second worst thing that happened here. There you here. go. Make them sparkle and hurry it up. First of hey, all, I wonder what the. Down now, Alias. Relax, fellas. Uh, first of all, I wonder what the first thing 
bad, bad uh, first thing to happen. Nah. All right. What's the matter? Keep cleaning, or else. What an a hole. Like this one's still dirty. Clean it again. What an a-hole, bro. I get that they're prisoners, but gee, y'all don't gotta treat them like that now. Such a dick. All right, that's enough. Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals. In All the right, showers. Scaletta, get, get your moved. clothes off. And get cleaned up. Would you kind shower of time? Shower time. It's funny how they got ah, F and never mind going to say it. What is they even washing up? What he only got no ah, F it. You know what? I don't got time. To watch it. What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie, we got a little business to take care of here, huh? Come on, bro. Get your freaky cell phone cover, bro. <laughs> yes, you are. Have your fun, you sick bastards. Come on, man. Mm, I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd Back you up. get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way. Or the hard That's way. That's so ugly, bro. No choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, this guy is a fighter, huh? Yeah. I don't even know what's going on, bro. Look at him for the go snitch. Okay. Hey, hey! Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? Where's Frank? Yo, Jay. Wait, how y'all gonna beat me? How y'all gonna get on oh, me because I don't want him? Ah, you oh, know what? and uh, I don't understand this, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. Yeah, I don't like this part coming up. This is one thing you never want to get while you're in jail. Mama died when Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor yep. and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'll tell you how, I'm shocked they didn't tell you how many days or weeks later it was. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. I got you. That's gonna be the end Good of the video coming kid. up in a minute. What the hell happened? Looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's no, got it ain't. all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Oh yeah, right. not only am I ready for him this time, but he gonna Break get a, a leg, couple kid. broken bones, all right. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. 
All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. Yeah. Come here, Mary! Again, hard! Nice shot! Me ma is... Is that all Yeah, I'm ready for you this time. I was ready for you this time. Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? What the hell? I have to do better than that, little girl! Come on, man. This time I'll finish you! I don't think so. Oh, shit. Try again, little man. Okay. Yeah, I was waiting for this moment. Shut the fuck up. It all worked out just fine. They never found out who did it. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys you arrange for me to relocate to this cell. Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on for Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me. Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered that's you the point I, against that's the, the point I just made, actually. He's gonna have a lot of explaining. He probably only had hired the lawyer I just so he was the boss. him out. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. It Each is. family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules, and if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly Definitely the type of guy that. everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone, the other... Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. Yeah, the guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects oh, yeah. the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about... Adjusting your sentence. Peppy, come here. Have a taste. 